My first guest is, uh, a lot of people call him the best. That's it. He's just the best, because he is. He's an Emmy and Golden Globe winning actor who stars in the new movie Wild Mountain Time, which is in theaters and on demand this Friday. Here is the one and only John Hamm. Oh! You know what? That's what I'll I'm talking about. I'll take it. That's what I'll I'm talking take about. It. It's great to see you, buddy, as the always. The best. Uh, this is the best. Yeah, I know. I had to call you the best because you really are. Every t everyone we I talk to, they go, oh, please, we love John Hamm. He's the best. You are the I'll best. I'll take it. Last I'll time you were on our show, we were talking to each other from, from our, our, our homes. It was seven months, seven Early months ago. Early pandemic. Now I'm in the studio, and uh, but you were back on a By film yourself. set. I know. I was back on a film set in Detroit, Michigan, during the election, uh, wow. which was very strange. It was strange to be in a battleground state during an election, I will say that. Uh, but also strange making a movie where everybody has to be in masks until three seconds before they start rolling the cameras. Uh, oh God, but we did so... it. We were safe. Nobody got uh, nobody got infected or super the, uh, spread anything. Uh, Soderbergh movie. Steve Soderbergh uh, directed uh, cast, on. including myself. We had a Cheadle. We had a Benicio del T. Oh. We had we had a Kieran Culkin. I I, I would uh, tell the younger viewers out there. We had a Noah Jupe. Oh, I'm I would telling you, I would go to this party in two seconds. You should, uh, had had it been not on lockdown. You would have been invited. Oh, my gosh. Were you guys in a bubble somewhere? Yeah, we all stayed in the same hotel in downtown Detroit, which, by the way, Detroit, if you get the chance, go yep. visit. I it's did. a very cool city. I, uh, never been my first time. And, uh, uh, yeah, it was super awesome. Oh, and they have uh, great hot dogs there, by the way. Yeah, the Coney dogs, man. Uh, I definitely uh, I visited the Lafayette Coney dogs, free plug. Uh, yeah, uh, but I love that they're, there's two. And you two, know they're right next to next, each other, exactly. They, actually, the walls are touching the two. Uh, American might be <laughs> they, the other one, right? They share, yeah, American and Lafayette, they share a wall. <laughs> Competing you don't pony like dogs. dogs. If you don't like a hot dog here, the exact same thing is, is right next door. <laughs> Three seconds away is the exact same thing. It's, exactly. uh, it's, it's, not, even, it's not even Larry David. It's, it's beyond. It's, no, not it's not a spite. spite store. Or not it might a spite, be a spite store. store. But if it is, it's going on for 70 years. So it's amazing. <laughs> uh, oh, my gosh. How is Cheadle doing? Great. In fact, I went to Lafayette Coney Dogs with Cheadle. So it was a, course, it was a, he's the most... a pretty out-of-body experience for the, like, Greek man who was uh, who didn't care, by the way. He was like, how many hot dogs do you want? <laughs> like, two each. <laughs> that was his, yeah, that was uh, the highlight of it. He had no idea it was you guys, didn't care. Yeah, he's, he's like, fine. yeah, we're good. Selling dogs. Uh, uh, speaking of dogs, you got a dog. I do. Where is he? Oh, he's, I think he's hiding. But yeah, it's, it's, uh, we got a puppy. Oh. And by pup, I'm using that very, very loosely because he goes about 65 pounds and he's eight months old. Wait, how he's is gonna he? Be, he's going to be a chunk. He's going to be a big chunk. What, kind of, what, kind, of, what kind of dog? It's uh, poodle. It's half, yeah, half half Rottweiler, <laughs> eighty pound half... poodle. Murphy, Murphy, come. Uh oh. All right, you ready? Let me see this. This is Murphy. Let me see this too. Oh, it's a good Murphy. puppy. Murphy. That's a puppy. Hi, Murphy. Oh, oh my gosh, he's a beast, dude. He's gonna be I'm big. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. He is a large, large dog. Is that is this his TV debut? Yeah, it's his TV debut. He immediately, by the way, left. Yeah, of course. <laughs> he is the, he's exactly like the, uh, the Greek waiter at Lafayette Cody Dog. Doesn't care. <laughs> he's like, yeah, Jimmy. Got what he needed, found... came in, got his toy, bailed. Yeah, out, yeah. Uh, uh, out. You know, I wanted to talk to you quickly about, but uh, we don't have to uh, uh, lay on the horn too much, but uh, our, our buddy Andy Sandberg was on the show recently, and we are talking, like, what shows are you watching during quarantine? And uh, he goes, you know what I'm watching is uh, Mad Men. And I go, what do you mean, Mad Men with Ham? He's like, yeah, I know. That's our friend, John Ham. I go, you've never seen He goes, I, I, didn't, I, I know it, but I didn't, I've seen it, but I've never watched the whole thing. And he goes, I just feel so bad because I, I don't know if, I, we never really fake discussed it, but I just assumed, you know, he probably assumed that I saw it. And I just never, he goes, but I, it's amazing. I go, of course it's amazing, but it's like, we, he won Emmys. We were we celebrated with him. <laughs> we were like, well, yeah, 
you know, the funny thing was like uh, the first time I hosted SNL, you know, they all dressed up in Mad Men gear, like everybody. Yeah. And I was like, Sandberg kind of kind of half assed it. I was like, what are you? <laughs> who are you? Like, you just put a tie on? What's the deal? <laughs> everybody else, like Paula Pell taped a cigarette to her thing. It was in like a little pencil skirt. And Hater was in drag as Joan. Like yeah. everybody else was sort of into it. So I realized, like, when Sandberg, uh, he texted me in, like, April or, or, or yeah, May. And he's yeah, like, that's what it was. I got to tell you, man, I've been watching the show. I am sort of <laughs> embarrassed to admit it. I never saw it. I was like, well, don't be embarrassed, but I'm glad, you, I'm glad you're enjoying it now. It's better than getting a text like, hey, I finally shot, saw your show, and I, I don't get it, man. I don't. Uh... <laughs> that's so good. Uh, hey, I want to talk about your movie because, you know, I, I, love, uh, I love a good rom-com. And uh, I, I do uh, love a good love story, and I love, uh, I'm Irish, so I do love a good uh, shot to Ireland anytime I can see it. Wild Mountain Time, T-H-Y-M-E. Uh, then, then, Jimmy, if you love those things, this movie is for you. It was for me. I loved it. Dude, I love uh, Jamie. I love Emily. I, I go, and then uh, did I get John Hammond there as well? I go, Chris hey, Walken? How about, hey, yeah, I'll up the ante. How about a little Chris Walken for you? To, uh, uh, come on. How was it to hang out in Ireland with Christopher Walken? I will tell you the greatest story that I did not, this is second hand, this is from John Patrick Shanley, the director and writer of the film. But he would say Chris was so enamored of Ireland where he had never been his whole life. It was his first time, my first time in Ireland, his first time in Ireland, that he would just sit in his room and stare out the window at the cows. And then he would make up stories about what the cows were thinking. <laughs> Ah. Very, very detailed stories. And let me tell you, they were not pleasant thoughts. Wow, interesting. He was convinced that the cows were very sinister and were probably up to no good. You can't, turn, you can't like, turn your brain off, man. No, that's, I mean, that is like, that is peak walk-in right there. There's only one Chris Walken, and any, any time you get to spend with him is time that you just absolutely treasure. I, I didn't have a lot of scenes with him, but I got to spend a couple dinners with him, and I... I would just find myself like smiling and nodding and just having the greatest time. Such just a lovely the, man. Just the air in Ireland, just everything, and you go, ah, even Holy if Holy moly. And you know, like this, we, we shot every inch of it. It's so, it's so lush and beautiful. And we were there in um, September, October, so it was kind of rainy. But then it would just be like rainbows everywhere. And you're like, are you kidding me? Like, come on, Ireland. Like, we get it. We get it. We, we don't get need it. 40 rainbows to you like are hammer a, the point. Yeah. It's a hat on a hat on a hat on a <laughs> leprechaun on a hat yeah. with a lucky charm. Uh, and then like two more hats. It's, it's so, the greatest. Uh, it was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. Uh, do we want to set it up or did I set it up already? Just saying that it's a love story and... Uh... It's a it's the most beautiful, honest, sincere love story without a trace of cynicism or snark, and it's the perfect antidote to everything about 2020. Oh, how's that? Yeah, I love it. I want to show a clip. Here's John Hammond, Emily Blunt in Wild Mountain Time. Take a look at this. I mean, I'm not so sure about love, but marriage is a practical partnership. You know? Who's going to take out the trash? That kind of thing. What marriage? Do you want to be married? That's a proposal. No. I mean, in general, do you want to be married? I suppose. Yeah, me too. Anthony, however, I don't think he's the marrying kind. How would you know? Because you're right there. You were right next door. And nothing happened. I'm not next door, no. No, you were not. And I find that very promising. More with John Hamm after the break. Come on back, everybody! Uh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.